Today we're going to talk about how to fit an overflow pipe into an Orion tank. With your tank, you will be supplied what we call a pre-packed bag. And in that bag, you've got your installation instructions, a 90mm rapid seal rubber grommet, a 90mm insect screen for your overflow, a tap, a valve for the bottom, a nipple to connect the valve to the tank, and a bonus roll of thread tape to make sure that it's all nice and tight when you've finished. When it comes to installing the overflow, normally an Orion tank is supplied with a pre-drilled overflow hole. You take the rubber grommet and you install it into the overflow hole, the pre-drilled hole, like so, making sure that it's seated nice and tight against the tank. We then recommend that you take a little bit of detergent or uh, some sort of other lubricant, apply it to the inside of the rubber grommet, and then also uh, just a little bit of water like that on your fingers and around the end of the pipe. This piece of pipe that I've got here is a 90mm DWV pipe, stormwater pipe, and in it we've cut some slits into the end. They run in about 100mm and I've cut six or eight of them um, around the, the pipe to allow the pipe to collapse a little bit to fit through the wall of this tank, through the grommet. Once we've got the water on and we've got a little bit of lube on the inside there, you simply insert the slit end of the pipe in through the wall of the tank and then push the pipe in till it seals in to the wall of the tank, just like so. The beauty of this system is that if the tank moves after installation, the pipework can move without breaking the silicon seal, which will then allow water to run down the side of your tank. With this system, as you push the pipe through, the rubber grommet expands and seals against the wall of the tank, as it also uh, seals against the wall of the pipe as you push it through. If you have trouble installing the overflow pipe, we suggest that you can pull it back out again, apply a little bit more lubricant and water, and then go again. If it is being really stubborn, you're able to use a small drift piece of wood and uh, knock it in gently with a, with a hammer uh, to make sure that it is actually seated all the way through. Normally, it, they would fit just like that by hand. Once the overflow pipe is installed, you can then, if you wish, push your insect screen onto the outside like so, which will prevent mosquitoes and frogs and the like uh, climbing up your overflow pipe and living in your tank. We do recommend that you don't glue this screen on because from time to time you'll want to remove it to be able to clean it and allow the overflow water out. We've been manufacturing tanks in Tasmania for over 25 years now. If you've got any further questions about the installation of your tank or what we recommend as best practice, please get in contact with our team and we'll be only too glad to help you.